So this morning, I'll be along the Colorado River on the California side. I've hunted there before and uh, I found I found a lot of coins, some toys and things like that. Um, I had I had the Bounty Hunter Tracker 4 at that time. Um, so today I'll be using the Tesoro Lobo Super Track. I'll just go over quickly uh, where I've been. See if anything else pops up. Hopefully there are people there this past weekend and dropped a few things. Anyhow, let's get to hunting. side over there. Oh, the water's a lot higher from the last time I was here. A lot higher. It was about 15 or 20 feet lower. Yeah. Well, let's see. I don't think anyone was here. I'm just going to go through this little strip right here. Here we go. It's kind of long, I think. Let's see. my third dig um, with my kick point pin pointer I find this A nickel Oops. Oops. so there's hope um, so far I dug up a uh, a bottle cap and a pull tab. So here's this nickel and we keep on hunting. Grass growing on top of the sand. Oh, here. Another uh, bottle cap. Boy, these people. 
Nope. These days I I can't I can't get to littering like that, you know. I really can't. So let other people do. And that's them. Alright, while I'm out here, I guess I can show you that um I had my uh, sensitivity at four, and I was picking up a bunch of uh, bottle caps and things like that. And um, that's how I hit this nickel. Four. But you go above four, say four and a half. You don't pick up anything. So, and that's what the Tesoro global super track I normally would have it my sensitivity between five and six so the places I've been checking before and I must have passed up a bunch of nickels yep well just to let you know that that's what happened to me um, I did find nickels though but I think I may have got lucky because there were other coins nearby. And, uh... Yep. You live and learn. There you go. And, uh, depending on how you would swing, I have a target here that I don't know what it is yet, but it's like a single tone, one way, and then a double tone the other way. So watch. Oops. There you go. So, I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna try to retain that info in my brain housing group, and let's see what's down in there. Disc level is set at four. We pull out this penny. And there you go. Something. Nineteen eighty three penny into the pouch. So I get a tone water's edge and whatever it is we're gonna put the uh, technetic tech point to the test and get it wet the box corona well you know you wear gloves to help protect yourself but then sometimes you get these little things still poking at you ouch well I checked down through there a little path that led to the river and I'm out of here West Interstate 10. Yep. Friday night, tomorrow. We'll be heading up north to the San Francisco Bay Area. That's where I'm from. 
Um, hopefully we get some metal detecting done up there. Um, I know the city of San Jose, they charge fees for metal detecting. And I think the, San, the county of Santa Clara does also. Uh, from what I last read, uh, I believe it's $40 total. I'm not sure, but you know, I'm not up there that often to want to pay that fee. But I know there's other other areas up there that I can mess around with. Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz County for sure. The beaches along there, the boardwalk, uh, Half Moon Bay. Um, I farted around Ocean Beach in San Francisco. I found I found some things there. I found a pen, a uh, a fancy pen. It's called a Mont Blanc. Um, it was pretty nice. I researched it and found that it would it's worth a pretty penny so I threw it on eBay and sold it for a hundred bucks so yeah there's treasures everywhere well it's not much but here's what I'm taking out from that beach on the Colorado a sinker a nickel and a penny well I didn't get skunk but yeah Wish there was more beach to to hunt. Yes, sir.